What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm proud to announce the Dolphin has returned. We are rocking out with a Palafin and Lunala team today in ranked regulation G. Now when it comes to Palafin, this Pokemon is an all-time favorite of mine, especially from the Paldea region. It has a unique ability zero to hero and I just love its design so much. But this Palafin today is all about attacking. It just got the Mystic Water as item with the Water Terror type, Wave Crash, Jet Punch, Ice Punch, and Protect. So you got a big time stab move with Wave Crash, you got first turn priority stab with Jet Punch, and on top of that, the nice lovely coverage move of Ice Punch to deal with any Dragon type. We like this Pokemon so much. To pair up with Palafin is going to be Shen Pao. We've seen this combo in previous formats. It's still going to be working in today's format. Shen Pao's got Swords of Ruin with the Focus Sash, Sacred Sword, Ice Spinner, Sucker Punch, and Protect. Obviously, cannot have a Regulation G team without Roll Boom and Incineroar. We got them both. They're just so strong. One has Terrain Control, the other one's Intimidates, and then they can both fake out. Final two Pokemon is going to be Raging Bolt, nice big time special attacker, and then for our restricted Pokemon, we have Lunala with Shadow Shield, Power Herb, Meteor Beam, Moon Geist Beam, Wide Guard, and Tailwind. I'm sure you guys seen Meteor Beam Lunala across the meta, or I wouldn't say across the meta, across the Regulation G ladder. It's super strong once this Pokemon can get set up. It's doing some big time damage all around. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Well, without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Palafin in ranked Regulation G. Before we get started with match number one, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator and a longtime viewer, my boy Lightning. Thank you so much for sending me this team. I'm super excited to be using it. Haven't used Palafin in a while, so hopefully we can grab ourselves a winning record today. But we're going up against a Lugia squad here in match number one. Lugia, super strong, super bulky, going to look to bulk up with Combine, so we got to watch out for that. Definitely have to watch out for that. But yeah, they also have Incineroar for Fake Out. They got Raichu, another Fake Out user. They also have Mammoth Swine, Ogre Pond, and Confi. So Confi and Lugia pair up super, super well. So again, gotta watch out for that. I think Lunala could be a great lead for us. Can't be faked out. Can't be uh, intimidated because it's a special attacker. Plus, we could just go in power or maybe drop a Meteor Beam and kind of go from there. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna lead it with Palafin. On top of that, I'm gonna be able to swap into like Incineroar here. Fake out with that, and then last but not least, gotta go into the Shen Pao, right? Gotta go into the Shen Pao, especially with the Focus Ash. We love this. We love this. So this is what we're gonna be doing here. Hopefully they go into like Incineroar or something. In that case, or a Fake Out user, I'm just swapping out. I mean, I'm swapping out uh, Palafin regardless here. Or I could just protect it and play it safe. Never know. I could just go for Jet Punch. I don't know. We'll see. Most likely gonna swap him out, because Palafin needs to be in his uh, hero form in order to be going crazy but they're just gonna end up leading Raichu and Incineroar which I don't mind I don't mind here I mean are you gonna fake out my Palafin maybe potentially that is an option I'm definitely throwing a meteor beam here but the real question is into who do I throw a meteor beam are you faster than that's the real question are you faster than Incineroar yeah you should be 118 yeah we are just going to drop this Incineroar or at least try to drop this Incineroar I'm gonna go meteor beam into this slot on top of that, we're just going to hard swap you into Incineroar. And we'll go from there. That's fine. I'm going to be able to fake out next turn. I'll have Palafin in the back end with Shen Pao. I can maybe set up a Tailwind with Lunala. We got a lot of options here. Plus, I throw out double fake out users here. Up against Pokemon that I could care less if you're going to fake me out, right? So, hopefully, you go for fake out. You can't fake out my Lunala. And if you fake out my Incineroar, it's just going to be a waste of a turn because we're just swapping in. So beautiful. Incineroar coming out here. Nice, lovely Intimidate onto both of these guys. We're not going to use our Terra just yet. I just don't think there's a need to. And he's going to go for a fake out into the slot. Into Lunala. What are you doing? What are you doing? Going for fake out into Lunala. Maybe you thought I was Thrasilizing. Okay. That actually makes sense. Because I was thinking about Thrasilizing to stop with, uh, to stop the uh, knockoff damage. But this works fine. We're just not Thrasilizing. We're going straight into Meteor Beam. And the reason I didn't want Thrasilize is because I knew we outsped. We didn't have to. I could just drop this Meteor Beam, get that plus one, and KO Incineroar. We did get a crit, but we were KOing Incineroar. Let's be honest. Plus one special attacking boost with Meteor Beam. You're gone. You're dead. Get it on out of here. But honestly, that's a bold play for them to go for a fake out into Lunala, predicting me going into a Terror type. But now I love where we're sitting. We got Palafin on deck with Chen Pao. They're going to bring out Lugia. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. I'm just going to fake out Lugia. Unless you're Covert Cloak. Which, it is an option. It is an option. I could go for Meteor Beam. I might double down Lugia here. 
And honestly, I am going to double down. Actually, I'm going to knock off. I'm not even going to fake out Lugia. Actually, I could fake out Raichu. Just play this one simple. Especially take off Raichu's potential focus ash. Yeah. I'm going to go right into fake out into you. Because Lugia has a chance of protecting me. And I really don't want to... Don't want to take away from this hot start we had by... Doubling down into somebody who can protect. He ends up not protecting, but I don't mind this fake out. He's going to go for a calm mind boost. Yeah, we should have probably faked that thing out. Double down into it. But I do like Moongeist Beam picking up some big time damage. Especially being stab and plus one. So I don't mind that. I do not mind that. So Moongeist Beam going to fly here. How much damage does this do? I know this thing's bulky. But that's some good damage. That's some great damage right there. That's some great damage. You got weakness policy, which is looking a little scary. But we're just going to sit here and double down into this thing. We're going right after it. So I'm going to go Moon, Moon Guys Beam. On top of that, I am going to try to throw a knockoff here into the slot. You could have a ground terror type, but yeah, we're, we're going straight for a double down. We're going straight for a double down. So out comes the terror type. It could be ground. I wouldn't be surprised to see a ground terror type pop out here. And if it is ground, we're going to love it. Now it's going to be steel. It's going to be steel. I mean, we have Sacred Sword on Shen Pao, which is going to be good. That can just KO you. Um... I think we should be fine. It's going to nuzzle and paralyze me. All right. I see you. I feel you, Raichu. Just being a nuzzle pester. And recover is going to come out here. Oh, no. If I can land a Flare Blitz in that slot, that'd be big. That'd be some big-time damage. Moon Guys, Beam going to fire. We are taking off its item, which is good. Which it might just be the Cobra Cloak. Moon Guys, Beam still doing a nice chunk. The knockoff is going to fly here and do a little bit more. And it didn't knock off an item because it was weak this policy. I totally forgot. There's that. Um, I could set up a Tailwind. I'm honestly just going to go Moongeist Beam into Raichu and throw a Flare Blitz over into Lugia. So right now, he's outspeeding me at this point. He's going to withdraw the Raichu. That's fine. And I, again, I just think we're sitting in such a good position where they can't really come back from this, right? He's going to go for another Recover. And I just think Lunala and Sinor can just win this match. Unless we lose some turns to Paralyze, just like that. I was just about to say that. Unless we lose some turns to Paralyze. At least we get off our Flare Blitz, which is nice. Doing monster damage into Lugia here. Um, huh. Do I set up a Tailwind for Rest Squad? I don't think we need to. I really don't think we need to. We got such fast Pokemon in the back end. I'm just going to go after Mamoswine with this and then just try to drop another Flare Blitz. Obviously, I could use Terra, but I really don't want to use Terra. He's just going to sit here and keep recovering, which is fine. Again, no big deal, unless we start losing turns to, obviously, Tailwind. Or not Tailwind, Paralyze. Which I feel like we're going to lose some turns here. Paralyze and flinch chances, my RNG's not that good. Moon Guys Beam's landing, which is great news. Should do some monster damage into you. Yep, we love that. And I'm going to flinch. I'm flinching. So, from here, I'm actually going to drop a wide guard. Stop Rock Slide? No, I think we just go for another Moon Guys Beam. Just try to get rid of Mammoth Swine. And then go for Flare Blitz if we can into Lugia. The Lugia is going to calm mind boost again. Alright, no big deal. Boosting up. And he's going to go for a Rock Slide. So I could have actually wide guard that. But Incineroar survives. And I'm going to be paralyzed, of course. And Incineroar is going to land. We love you, Incineroar. So you're going to die, Incineroar. But you bring Lugia down low. Force him to go for potentially another recover. So before you can even go for recover, I'm just going to jet punch you. Let's play this one safe. Let's play this one safe. Palfin, get on out here. Let's go, Pally. Haven't used Palfin in so long. Let's go, Pally. Pally in the house. Pally in the house. We love a good old Palfin. So from here, honestly, we'll, we'll go for another Moon Guys Beam. We will go for a jet punch so we can outspeed. Actually, we might just outspeed this thing regardless, right? What is your speed, Palfin? 152. I'm pretty sure we outspeed it regardless, but Jet Punch can't pick up the KO, so I'm just going to launch a Jet Punch. Play it safe here. Pally came to play. Love Palafin. The Jet Punch going to fly here. I wonder if he's going to protect maybe swapping the Raichu. That is an option, but with all these boosts going on, when you, your combine boosts like crazy, Jet Punch is able to finish him off. So smart play for us is just to go for the Jet Punch. Bye bye Lugia. Get on out of here. Kept trying to stay alive with Recover. Couldn't get a chance to attack. And we're just thriving out here. Rock Slide's going to connect. And Lunala, can you get off turn here? Thank you, Lunala. Now we'll drop Mammoth Swine. So everything works out perfectly. All that they have left is Raichu. 
this pal and team thriving out here in match number one. And that lead for us was just too perfect, right? It was too perfect. Especially up against our fake out users. Able to swap Palfin, save it for Shen Pal. Lunala gets set up with that plus one special attack boost. And we pick up a KO all in the same turn. So it was money. So I'll go for Moon Guy's Beam here. I will also throw a Wave Crash. Chances are they uh, cancel match. And no, they just go for a Nuzzle. How dare you? Nuzzle me. Gets a crit on the Nuzzle too. How about that? How about that? How about that? Wave Crash is still flying. It's going to land, and we'll say bye-bye to Raichu Palfin. Hitting like an absolute truck still to this day. Moving on to match number two. Looking to use Palfin a little bit more here. Going up against a Miraidon squad, though. Miraidon, just really, really strong, really fast at the same time. They do have Whimsicott. So Whimsicott can set up Tailwind. They can really start getting after me that way. But a good Pokemon here could be Lunala for us. Lunala obviously has that Meteor Beam, as you guys seen in that last match. On top of that, it has Tailwind. So if they want to go for Tailwind, we can go for Tailwind. I like it. They also have Lunala. They have Farigaraf, which are both normal type Pokemon, which means my ghost move cannot hit them, which I don't like at all. I really don't like at all. I mean, I could go in the Roll Boom here. Roll Boom's not too bad, but I kind of want to lead Palafin just so I could swap it out and have it for later. I think that could be good, but Trick Room's just, uh, Trick Room's just a problem, right? Trick Room is just a problem, but to be honest, I am going to end up going Lunala here. With Palafin, I do like that. We are going to end up bringing Incineroar in the back end. And last but not least, Raging Bull or Rillaboom. I got two seconds. I'm going to go Rillaboom. We'll go in with double fake out users. It's just good for um, for wasting out trick room turns. And on top of that, they do have me a ride on. So terrain control going to be good for us. So Rillaboom, just a solid pick all around. I need to get out that terrain control. Especially, again, me ride on really thrives out up against that. And I feel like if they lead me ride on, we could just swap our Palafin into it. Which is always good. So let's see who they end up leading here. It's going to be Miraidon. I kind of hope so, right? It is going to be Miraidon. All right, so Miraidon comes out here. Um, huh. I could just stay in here with Palafin and attack. Let's be honest here. I could if I want to, but I think changing this terrain is just going to be worth it. And, and at the same time, swap Palafin into its hero form. It's just nice, right? It's just really good. So Beads of Ruin comes out here. We might want to Terrastalize our, our Lunala here. We might want to Terrastalize. We definitely want to hard swap Palafin into into Rillaboom, but from here, a normal terror type could be pretty good. And then just drop a Meteor Beam into the fish. Yeah, I'm cool with that, because we can always fake out Miraidon next turn, maybe double down into it. Yep, I'm going right after the fish. So Palfin, get on back here. I was honestly thinking of just throwing like a Jet Punch or maybe trying to go for a Wave Crash into the Pal or into the Chiyu slot, but I want Palfin in its hero form, let's be honest here. So out comes the grass train, we switch everything up. We're gonna hit that terror button. We're going into straight normal typing just because um, a dark pulse, we do not survive, right? Four times super effective, it's just putting us straight down. It's not looking good. So we're just gonna go into normal, neutralize a lot of these moves and see how this one plays out. He's gonna be able to go for a snarl, which is, ooh, snarl doing a lot of damage actually, because he got a crit. That's crazy. So he's gonna crit up on me. My special attack is gonna drop and he's gonna go for a Draco Meteor into the slot. Which just takes out my Rillaboom. That's tough, because he's going to swap out me right on next turn. So my special attack is going to go back to normal here, thanks to this uh, Meteor Beam. But we're really hoping this could just KO the Chiyu, right? We're really hoping we could just dump on Chiyu, get rid of it. Can we get rid of the Chiyu? That's the real question. He avoids it. Of course. Of course. Of course. Love my RNG. Love my RNG. So from here, honestly, we are just going to go into a fake out Tailwind now. Save our power from for later. But that's just so tough. Like, my Meteor Beam needs to land there. I needed it there. I needed it there. I really did. I really did need it there. Which is tough. Which is real tough. What is the accuracy for that? I am going to fake out the Chiyu here. I know it might have Ghost Terror type. But I think if anybody swaps, it's going to be me ride on. So I'm going to do that, and honestly, we're going to set up the Tailwind. But what is this Meteor Beam's accuracy? 90. Why are you missing? I needed you there. I'm going to set up this Tailwind. Yep, there's the Withdrawal Be right on. We are going to fake out the Chi Yu. Um, we're going to hope that doesn't Terrasalize either, which would be good news. And we'll set up this Tailwind. It's good news. So Fake Out comes out. Great swap for him to go into Armor Tail. He's going to be able to go for another Snarl. I think this is Choice Spec. I'm not even going to... I'm not going to sit here and lie. This might be Choice Spec. And we're going to set up Tailwind, forcing him to probably Terrasalize. 
and go into a trick room here, right? Do I start charging another Meteor Beam? No, I think I just swap Lunala. I think we just swap Lunala. I really want to go for a knockoff here, but you are going to Thrasalize, probably into Fairy Typing. Not going to sugarcoat it. You're probably Thrasalizing into Fairy Typing. I'm going to hard swap Lunala. I'm going to go into Palafin. Right into Palafin. This is tough, man, because I really needed that Meteor Beam. That Meteor Beam would have been so big for us. I go into Palafin here. I think you're going to Terrasize your... No, you don't. I could just knock that thing off. I could just use Knock Off on that. That's crazy. That's crazy. I could just probably KO'd it. I probably could just KO'd it. Boy, but it's going to fly here. And... That's about that much damage. All right, you going for Trick Room? I mean, Trick Room might actually help us out. Yeah, you do end up going for Trick Room. So I can't Jet Punch, which is eh, a little tough news. And I can now go for a Knock Off here. Really surprised you didn't Thrasalize there, but I am going to go for a Knock Off here. And I'm just going to protect Palafin. Get back a little bit of HP. You could swap back into Miraidon, which is most likely going to happen. Yep. And you're going to swap Chiyu, which is actually kind of funny. And you're going to go into Miraidon on that slot? No, you're going to go in Urshfu there. Palafin's going to end up protecting, which is good news. Frigraph, what are you going for? Going for a foul play into my Palafin. So this is a solid turn. We're going to get rid of Frigraph. Um, trick returns are kind of lower. But you could go for Aqua Jet here. You could go for Aqua Jet. I do take Rocky Helmet damage, but I do pick up a KO, which is good. Um, could hard swap into Lunala here. I could. I could. Um, could go for Jet Punches now, which is good news. Honestly, Miraidon's now fast. It's actually, we still have Tailwind up. We still have Tailwind, so they're probably going to go into Miraidon here. Yep, Miraidon's looking a little scary. Uh, I could go for a knockoff there. I could parting shot into Miraidon. I mean, the question is, do we think Aqua Jet's KO on my Incineroar? I hope not, because we do want to go for this Parting Shot here. I'm going to go for Parting Shot. Um, one turn left in Tailwind. I'm going to Hard Swap. I'm going to Hard Swap here into Lunala and try to just get that, that Palafin back out on that left side. So I Hard Swap here into Lunala. We are looking to go for a Parting Shot into me right on. Honestly, Miraidon's still probably faster than my Incineroar. Yep. I'm able to get off this parting shot. I'm able to dip out. Electro Drift probably going into Lunala slot. And what are you going for? Surging Strikes into Incineroar? Now we got Palafin out on the slot. That could be good news. That could be great news for us. And we waste out the Tailwind. Alright, so we're, we're, we're working back. We're working back here. Yep, there's the Surging Strikes. It's a great place for us. Great place for us so far. Good plays, good plays, Jeans. My Tailwind's gone. My Pokemon, honestly, are pretty good in Trick Room. He's gonna Volt Switch Pivot, which is not a bad play. Not a bad play. Not a bad play, because now Chiyu comes back out here. Trick Room's still out and about. My Tailwind's gone. My Pokemon are a bit slower. For the most part. So they still have, what's it called, though? They still have Terra, don't they? Which we don't. Yeah, they do still have Terra. I could go for Jet Punch here. Um. Hmm. What could your Terra be? Ghost, right? I feel like it would be Ghost, if anything. I could go for Y Guard, but honestly, I'm just gonna Jet Punch that, and I'm just gonna go into a Moon Guy Speed into this slot. I guess I'm just withdrawing to you. That's fine. So he withdraws Chiyu, he's going to go back into Miraidon just to get his stats back. And he's wasting out these Trick Room turns. We're going to have one turn left in Trick Room after this. The Jet Punch is going to fly here. Do minimal damage. No big deal. And Moon Guy's Beam going to fly into Urshfu. This is such a good battle so far. We still have Incineroar, which you can use. Moon Guy's Beam almost picking up the KO. That would have been monstrous if we did pick up the KO. And Close Combat's going to KO us. Okay. Oh, man. Jet Punch can finish off the Urshfu. We know that for a fact. That's good. Um, we can pick out the Miraidon. But the problem here is we might just want to double down to Miraidon because that's a Pokemon that we have to get rid of. That's a Pokemon that we have to get rid of. 
is Miraidon. Because what I'm thinking here is, with one turn left in Trick Room, honestly, we don't even have to fake out the Miraidon. We honestly just have to hope Ice Punch can KO. And then I'll just knock off KO you. Yeah, that's gonna be my play. Because we have to make a move here. We have to pick up some KOs here. We have to pick up KOs here. Honestly, you could go for like Aqua Jet, but I don't know. I do not know. I need Ice Punch to KO. You're gonna end up detecting, which is fine. That's totally fine by me. And we should double down and be right on. We need Ice Punch KO, and that, that, that's that's first part. If Ice Punch KO is, we have a hot shot to win this match. Ice Punch KO. Come on. Oh my lord! Down the red. Down the red, this thing's able to discharge and win the game. Man, we need that Ice Punch win. Honestly, we should have faked out. I wasn't expecting them to protect there. Let's be honest. I wasn't expecting them to protect, but honestly, if we fake out there, I think that picks up enough damage to pick up that KO. And if this turns to a 2v1 like that, we, or a 2v2, I think we win with Jet Punch. Really solid second match. We're sitting one on one. Let's go hop to our third. Looking to get that 2-1 winning record here in match number three. Going up against a really strong Kyogre team with a lot of different meta things, right? They got Ursaluna. They got Frograph, a great Trick Room combo. They also have Regilecki, Urshu, and Tornado. So they can take Speed Control pretty easily. Pretty, pretty easily. I mean, Roboom could be a solid lead for us. Palafin could also be a good lead for us. Um, I think I am going to end up leading Palafin alongside with Lunala, right? And the reason Lunal could be good is Wideguard. Wideguard could be really good for us, allowing us to swap Palafin and get Roboom out there. Yeah, so I'm going to go Palafin. I am going to go Lunal. I am going to go Roboom in the back end. And then last but not least, it's Raging Boulder Shen Pal. I do like Raging Bolt. Thunderclap, great. Combine, beautiful. Up against a lot of these guys is good, except for Ursaluna, right? Ursaluna, not look good. Wait, let me see your moves one more time. You do have Dragon Pulse. Which is going to be good. Do I want to go Rage Bolt though? Or Shen Pao? What's the play here? I think we go Rage Bolt. I actually think having that first turn priority is going to be good. Especially up against Kyogre. It's going to work wonders. But if they do end up going Ursaluna and Farigaraf here. I think we just have to double down into Farigaraf turn 1. And maybe just go for a Wave Crash and a Meteor Beam at the same time. And try to KO Farigaraf. Even with Palafin out of its... Not in its hero form. In its zero form. But they end up going to an Oz Kyogre. And I can see through the map. You guys saw that. Play it back. You can see through the map there. But they end up going into these two. I think Wide Guard is just a simple play for us. And we should just hard swap. Into Rillaboom. So I'm able to get out Rillaboom. I'm able to Wide Guard here. And then next turn, I can potentially Meteor Beam. And kind of go from there. I like it. So Rillaboom's going to come out here. How are you, Rillaboom? How you doing? And Grassy Surge is going to pop. We get the Grassy Terrain out here. We pose a nice big threat to Kyogre. And we're going to see a Terra out here. Is that a Kyogre Water Terra boost coming out here? Sure seems like it, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Which means he's using Water Spout Origin Pulse. He doesn't know we're rocking Wide Guard here. What you know about this Wide Guard? What you know about this Wide Guard? What you know about this Y guard? How you doing, Y guard? What you know about Y guard? Yeah. What you know about Y guard? Now, honestly, they probably think we're going into another Y guard, but I think now is a good turn for us to just fake out Kyogre and then just start boosting my Lunala, right? With Meteor Beam and maybe pick up a KO onto Tornadus, which I like, which I really like. He's going to withdraw Tornado. So whoever he swaps into is taking a big fat meteor beam to the face. It's going to be Urshfu. Is this water Urshfu? That Pokemon's a little bit scarier. Withdraw Kyogre. Okay, so now this Pokemon is taking a little fake out damage. And that's swapping both. They're going to go into Frigraph, which is, I guess, a bit smarter. Frigraph going to come out here. All right, I don't mind. Fake out going to get blocked. Armor Tail out and about. And this is actually Dark Urshfu, which is good news for us. Dark Urshifu. They're the ones with Tailwind out. They are the ones with Tailwind out. The Meteor Beam is going to fly here. Do some nice damage onto you. Nothing crazy. 
his HP is going to be restored. Okay, so from here, I think we might just want to go into a big time wood hammer into free graph. And maybe just Thrasilize and go for that Moonguys Beam into Urshifu. Beam plus one, it still should do a decent amount of damage. Especially with Stab, we're hoping it can pick up the KO. But if it doesn't pick up the KO, that's when we can just go into uh, Grass Sky to pick up the KO. So I like this, I like this. We still have a great first turn priority Thunderclap Pokemon in the back end. They don't have Terra anymore. We just used our Terra. They got Kyogre Tornadoes in the back end, which Thunderclap can work wonders on. Honestly, I think that Kyogre might be choice. Wicked Blow is going to fly here. We Terrasilize just for that. And Fergraph's going to go for Dazzle Gleam, which is totally fine because Woodhammer's doing monstrous damage. Moonguy Beam, hoping to pick up the KO, being plus one and stab. Come on, KO. Let's go, let's go. I knew it was not very effective, but I knew it should still do a nice chunk of damage. There's a KO onto Urshifu. Woodhammer going to fly. And they're forced to bring back out Kyogre. Actually, no, we don't pick up the KO. I was going to say, they're forced to bring out either Kai Ogre or Tornadus now. Which is good. Which is good. So another Woodhammer does KO the Frigraph, which is good news. Um, HP is going to be restored a little bit. I think an another Woodhammer, yeah, will KO. I am curious to see who they, who they bring out here. I am really curious to see who they bring out here. If it's Kai Ogre, we're doubling down into that slot. If it's just Tornadus, I'm obviously just going to throw a uh, Moon Guy Speam into that. But yeah, play this one really well. The swaps were perfect. Swaps in a wide ground, but they do end up going Kyogre. They do end up going Kyogre. So we are going to drop a Grassy Glide into that slot. Actually, we can't Grassy Glide. We're going to try to go for a Woodhammer. Honestly, we're just going to double down in that slot. We're doubling straight down in that slot. We're going to go for an ally switch. All right. I wish Robin went first. Hydro Pump going to fly, and that's going to carry me all day long. And I need to get rid of Frigraph. And actually, this works. Because getting rid of Frigraph allows me to go for first turn priority moves. So, Ally Switch is fine by me. That's fine by me. So, there goes Woodhammer. Bop. See you later, Frigraph. And now I'm able to just attack Kyogre. I think Kyogre's choice. I really do. I really do. Because you got, if you got to think about it, you got Water Spout and Hydro Pump. That makes me think your choice, right? So, now I'm going to go into you. I can Thundercrap. Freely. Actually, I could just go into Palafin to save my Raging Bolt. Yeah, I'm going to save the Raging Bolt. I'm going to go into Palafin. While Rain's still out here, I'm able to go for Jet Punches, Wave Crashes into Tornadus. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, the real question is, do I go for a Wave Crash here? Definitely want to go for Grass Guide in this slot. Do I go for Ice Punch, Jet Punch? I think I just hit ripped this thing with Jet Punch. Should do more than half. Actually, let's go for Wave Crash. I don't think you're KO my Palafin this turn. I don't think you're KO my Palafin this turn. Grass Guy gonna fly here. Get off beautiful damage into Kyogre. Beautiful damage. Fleek when Storm's gonna connect. KO my Robum. And honestly, you might KO my Palafin here. I should've went for Jet Punch. I should've went for Jet Punch. Are you going for Hydro Pump? You're definitely choice. You're definitely choice. And I'm gonna dodge it anyway, so that's actually big time news for us. Wave Crash gonna fly. This should KO into an all day. Of course, your sash, and now I can just jet punch a thunderclap. That's game, set, match. Come on, Palafin. Love it. I love it. Rain's gone, but we don't need it anymore. We don't need it anymore. I bet you're sitting here like, oh, we still have a shot if they don't have Raging Bolt. But guess what? The long neck giraffe coming out here. Long neck brontosaurus is coming out here. Now, like, oh man, we totally lost this game. Game, set, match. We'll go for thunderclap and the Kyogre. We will go for Jet Punch into Tornadus. Thanks for playing. Palafin team going 2-1. I loved it. I love Palafin, man. Glad we got to use it today. And especially grab ourselves a winning record. Palafin killed it. Killed it today. Killed it. I wonder if it was surviving that Hydro Pump. But even if it was dying to that last Hydro Pump that they missed, I'm fairly certain that my, uh, that my Raging Bolt cleans up the mess here. With just Thunderclaps. But Jet Punch going to fly here. Thunderclap gonna finish off the Kyogre. Jet Punch finishes off Tornadus. It's gonna be 2-1 winning record. It's gonna be a 2-1 winning record. There it is. So this is my first time using Palafin in at least two to three months, right? It's been a while. And Palafin, 
I don't understand why people are stop using Palf, and this Pokemon is amazing. I get that Rollboom is a problem for it, but maybe change his terror type. I love Palf in the day. Picking up some big time KOs, doing some big time damage, Wave Crash, Jet Punch, Ice Punch. Can't go wrong with that moveset right there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.